What's up? This is Core 2440. We're following Skylanter 17 Fire Rescue video. Today we'll be responding to a variety of fires here on the new map. We just got a call that a old truck is on fire at a small mechanic shop. We'll be hopping here in our Chevy Silverado Chief truck and we'll be making our way over to the station. I'm very excited to be back here doing some fire rescue videos, especially here on the new map. Since this Duramax is lifted, we do have to take it slow on some turns. We do not want to roll over and we do want to get to the station as safe as we can. But we wanted to get there quick also so we could also hop in our engine and respond over there. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the Fire Rescue series. Yesterday we did move to this map which is pretty incredible map and this isn't even the latest version of the map. I've done so much in the last day. You guys can see we arrived here. We'll be kind of just parking up wicked fast and we actually do have a door we can walk in right over here. We'll be walking in here and we'll be hopping here in engine 70 very nice engine fully working sirens and everything like that so we'll be using all of those and i do apologize fire trucks are very loud just like this one you guys can see we are leaving the station we got our sirens running and we'll be cruising over there this is our first time responding to a call here on the new map you guys can see that i mean this map is so cool especially using fire trucks like these this is pretty cool but I actually can see the fire already. Take a look at that. We're going to turn our sirens off as we do approach here. But wow, that is one pretty big fire. Looks like it did increase. And wow, looks like it is an old pickup truck inside of the building. So we'll have to kind of park up. We'll actually kind of stay right here. We do not want to go really too close because that will not be safe. So we'll come around to the side. We'll be getting our hose. You guys can see we do actually carry a bunch of water with us. And I'm very excited to be back here doing fire rescue videos. I do appreciate all of the support here on this series this is one pretty cool series we're gonna walk around here take a look at it let's get a little bit closer it looks like it's like an old ford take a look at that it looks to be like an old ford f100 so take a look at that guys we'll be kind of continuing to kind of wet down this building it looks like it is kind of stone with stucco to cover up the bricks so i mean that's helpful but uh the fire could potentially spread to other parts that are flammable we'll have to continue at this but it looks like they did Try to roll out the truck just a little, which is helpful because then it's not really on the inside all of the way. You guys can see we're, we're a bit too close, but we are continuing to put out the fire here. As you guys can see, I am trying to go on all different angles, trying to get all of the different areas where the fire is on. But it looks like how we started underneath the hood, maybe with like a little gas leak from one of the pipes or even an oil leak onto anything. And then it caught this on fire so I mean we actually did respond over here pretty fast which is very nice and you guys can see though that this is a very cool building we are actually here in the back area and I really do like the fire trucks with these hoses we actually do not have a limit on how far we could go but this looks to be pretty much almost out we'll continue to keep at this fire you guys can see that the fire is now out, which is awesome. I mean, that did take us quite a bit of time. We'll be walking back over here, and we'll be putting the hose away. But like I was saying, guys, our response times are very important. We actually do a pretty good job at it. Now, I am looking into kind of getting us a damage mod, if there is one, to kind of show fire damage, everything like that. But you guys can see that this is actually one of the mechanic shops. Very cool, a ton of detail, and I will be adding the garage doors to it. We'll be hopping back here in our engine. 70 and we'll be making our way back over to the station i mean this is one epic truck and i really do like the map the brightness of the map really does stand out and that's one of the big differences about this but, I, but i'm excited to be on this we did actually move from the county line map that was a pretty cool map but it did cause us a little bit of uh, the fire stations dip just down the street and take a look at this first person view i mean this is pretty cool we're actually going right through downtown which is also very nice but our new station is not drive through I do recommend you go check out the video setting up the new station which was yesterday I mean this is one pretty cool station as you guys can see we are arriving back here at the station our doors are kept open we do just have to get to a fire and sometimes we do leave our doors open we'll, but we'll be backing up you guys can see doing a very good job so far you do turn your lights on when you are in the streets and some of these trucks do have different keys to turn the lights on that I do always have to remember but overall very successful 
successful fire and good response time, and we actually put that out in really good time. But we'll wait here at the station. We'll kind of come over here to the offices, and I will be adding a few things also. We'll walk right around the tanker, and the office is right here. So we'll kind of wait over here for our next call. We just got a call that our old restaurant building is on fire in the middle of the town. We'll be opening up our door to Tiller 7 and we'll be making our way over there. This is one pretty cool Tiller truck and it does have a working ladder. We'll be turning our lights on and sirens when necessary when we are coming up here on traffic. You guys can see it's also pretty exciting to be using the Tiller truck. We don't use this too often. And wow, take a look at that curb. I really did update the map like I was saying. I hope you guys are excited for the release of this map March 1st. We are actually already responding over there. Take a look at those flames, guys. Those are massive flames. Haven't seen a fire like this in quite some time. And we are doing a pretty good job of responding. Take a look at the turning on this and the braking is not the best. No sirens needed since there's not much traffic today. But wow, take a look at that, guys. I mean, this is fully engulfed. And it's a good thing that we did bring this tiller truck. So we're we'll kind of parking this right over here, opposite lanes of traffic. And we we should be able to reach over there, which is perfect. We'll kind of pop out here. That looks going to be good. And we'll be getting the ladder truck into place. Now, this is one pretty cool ladder. We'll get this on. And you guys can see we'll kind of rotate this over. We should be able to reach the top of the building because that's where it did start. You guys can see it looks like it's like an old barn converted into a restaurant. That is pretty cool. So, it looks like, yeah, we should be able to get over it, which is perfect. Very realistic to kind of park these very far away. We do not want Want to damage the trucks in any way we'll kind of get the hose in this truck it, the version I do have of the truck does not actually have working hoses like the other one as you guys can see we are up top here of the fire one of the largest fires we have responded to in quite some time especially with it being an old farm building converted over it has a lot more dry wood and older construction which means that this could collapse a bit easier than the newer construction you guys can see though that we are just about top here we can't go too far because of the restriction but like we're saying guys I really do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos you guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback but wow we did a really good job so far i mean this ladder truck gets us right above the fire which is perfect and i really do like the tiller truck pretty cool but maybe we could getting a working ladder truck i think that'll be pretty cool I think once we are done with this call, we'll be going over to the other station and just kind of waiting out, see if there's a call from over there. That way we could use the uh, Ford Rescue Truck, which should be pretty cool. You guys, can see we are continuing to put water here on this fire, but overall we'll keep at this and we'll continue until the fire goes out. After quite a long time, the fire is now out, which is awesome. We'll be walking back down. I think we'll kind of walk backwards. It might be a little bit safer and easier for us, and we'll be putting this hose away. But as you guys can see, it looks like the building is a total loss. I mean, it was old construction, and it does burn pretty easily when it's all dry wood. So we'll be kind of bringing in this tiller, and overall, this does a great job. We really do like a lot. We'll be bringing this in, and it looks like it's continuing to come in. And I'm actually switching between the mouse and also my controller because sometimes it's easier to use one or the other. But we'll be rotating this back in. And as you guys can see, I mean, this tiller truck is very important for us here on our fire department. And I think we'll be naming this fire department like the Square Fire Department or whatever the name of the town will be. So that's it, guys, for this fire. We'll be kind of turning our lights off, getting on the correct lane, and we'll be heading back. But you guys can see, though, that, I mean, this tiller truck really is helpful. It gets us right above the fires, which is perfect. We'll have to take some pretty wide turns here, and yes, uh, towing trailers here on this map is a bit tricky, and I do apologize for that, but I think that having these roads is incredible. They look so nice along with the textures of the map, and I hope you guys are excited for the map releasing. I will be posting sneak peek pictures to Instagram and to Twitter, which should also be pretty cool. Take a look at that turn, just making it without having that wheel go up and over, but I mean, a little bit tricky, but once you get used to it, and everybody kind of is on this map it, it should go pretty nice but as you guys can see we arrive back here I do have the lights running because we'll be kind of blocking traffic for just a little while
while. But like I was saying, guys, we'll actually be kind of uh, leaving this fire station and going over to the other one. We'll kind of go for a little cruise as we go over there. And I will not be going and getting the other chief truck just because we are in this one. We might as well go over there in this. But I mean, sometimes this is a bit tricky. Take a look at our second try at getting this lined up. Take a look that actually we should have really two people running this truck. One in the back trailer section, which would be a pretty realistic thing to do. I am looking into doing this multiplayer, so stay tuned for that. You guys can see we'll actually kind of close this up, walk out way over here. But overall, I mean, we did some pretty good fire response here at this station. We're going to go through here. I really do like this one a lot. We'll be hopping here in the Chevy Duramax. Now, this, I believe, is a 2016 model year, so I mean, it's pretty new to us. But I think that getting like a newer one and not lifted will be pretty helpful. We'll be definitely using our indicators. I do get a ton of requests for it, and we'll be going across town now. Now, like we're saying, guys, this isn't the most updated version because I do have one that is very up. As you guys can see, we are now making our way over to the second station, which is pretty small. Now, there are parts of this map which are not complete and aren't fully up to date, and this map is a work in progress. I do get a ton of comments about this, but take a look at this Duramax, guys. I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. You guys should see the fire station here in the distance. It's right over here to our right, and I do like the size of it. It is pretty small. It just houses our rescue and brush truck, and we'll kind of just be parking up right over here. So next up, we'll kind of wait over here and see if we do get a call. We just got a call that a dune buggy is on fire right in front of someone's house. We'll be hopping here in our F-350 rescue truck and we'll be responding there over to the fire. You guys can see we do a full LED lights here on this, which is pretty cool. And I don't think we'll be using the sirens. They're just way too loud. And if we do come upon vehicles, uh, we'll definitely have to turn it on to kind of have them move over to the side of the road. But as you guys can see, we are responding over here. And I could actually see the fire here in the distance. We do have a small wall water tank on the bed which is pretty helpful and it should be just enough for the small fire but you guys can see we are arriving here take a look at that that's actually a pretty large fire compared to what the caller did tell us but that's okay we'll be using this uh, rescue truck we'll come over here and I believe that we do have to come over here to the back we'll press enter get our hose and we'll be coming up over here it looks like it did not spread to the house yet which is nice we just kind of wet down the house and prevention mode if you would so call but we're kind of keep at this looks like this buggy is pretty nice and they could have just had a fire just by turning it on for the first time this season i mean it did sit here all winter and sometimes animals do kind of get in there and bring some uh, nature in which we are continuing to put out this fire and sometimes animals do bring like little pieces of wood into areas of the engine which could have caused this but we'll kind of keep at this but you guys can see so far today has been a very busy day, three different fires which is pretty cool and we are actually at the smaller station at the moment so we're going to keep at this and we'll wait until the fire goes out. You guys can see that the fire is now out, which is awesome. That did go by pretty fast. Very small one, even though it didn't look that small. But you guys can see that is pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video here on the new map. If you do have any cool names for the map, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.